Hello, I'm Mystic Rose and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you all about what is a light worker and what are some signs to know that you are one. So there's a few misconceptions about light workers. Some people um, within the spiritual community think that there are only 144,000 light workers. Um, I think that that's a myth and um, I'll tell you why. I think that we all have a lot of uniqueness about us and shining your light is a choice. Um, not to say that, you know, you aren't special if you identify with the light worker um, label. Um, I do believe that everybody can choose to be unique and special and that we're all born innately with a uniqueness about us. And so if you're a light worker, um, it means that you're choosing to shine your light upon the world and to uplift the world and to um, heal the world. And oftentimes um, you'll, you'll have like a, a traumatic past and it leads you down the road to an awakening where um, you really have to heal yourself before you can start to help others. But you start to feel this awakening within you that is like a calling for you to shine your light upon the world because um, people that are light workers have this inner calling. Um, not everybody will wake up to their um, divinity and their ability to shine light and love into the world. But if you're one of those lucky people that have awakened and you're, you know that you're here to shine your light, then you are a light worker. And um, yeah, it's special because, you know, it is special because maybe not everyone is meant to awaken to it. But the fact that you have, or um, you at least found this video and you're interested in it, means that you can awaken to your fullest potential and shine your light into this world. So um, also I wanted to say that um, when you are a light worker, you have a real tendency to wanna stay inside of your home and it's hard for you to go out into the world because um, the energies are very, very dense and it is, there's like this want, this desire inside to share your light, but yet it's also very, very difficult because you're empathic and because you've awakened, you're very sensitive to energies and um, you might actually even be a healer too and a transmuter. Um, a healer and a transmuter can take... Um, negative energy and turn it into something positive um, by being a catalyst to somebody. So being a light worker is a powerful job and it's a big responsibility and it's important for you to take care of yourself. So self-care is like of number one importance if you're a light worker. Now um, some other signs is that you you might have just known from um, always, you know, since you were very young, you've had a deep um, knowing that you have a much bigger purpose here than just going through the motions of everyday life. You really want to um, get in touch with your bigger mission and purpose here. You also are uh, maybe very intuitive and interested in developing your psychic gifts further. Um, this inner desire is a huge indicator that you are a light worker and that you're waking up to your divinity. Um, you, you may enjoy connecting to others, but you, like I said, you need your alone time in order to recharge because it's so important. But try not to isolate too much because that is one of the pitfalls of being a light worker. Um, you, your young life might have set you up for a series of different traumas or challenges or other difficulties. Um, these things are intended to awaken you, not to hurt you. And they're part of the design inherent in the light worker's path. You have a deep desire to want to um, heal yourself and others. And you may have struggled with mental illness in the past or presently. Um, it's part of your purpose to revolutionize the way people actually see their mental, physical, and spiritual health. So oftentimes people that um, identify with being light workers have either had a mental illness themselves or they um, are surrounded by a lot of others who um, have mental illness issues. And um, they are, it's part of the actual, 
you know, just part of being a light worker, okay? And it's one of the signs that you know that you are indeed walking the path of a light worker. Um, you're naturally creative or artistic. Maybe you like to do arts and crafts. Um, and you might have been from a family where you felt very different from them. Um, like you might have felt like you were adopted as a child. You just, you're very different from your family. You're very different than your friends, most of your friends at least, or the people that you know. You just feel different or maybe you struggled to find your people. Maybe it has taken you many years to find like a good tribe of people to actually, um, you know, walk with in this life journey. Um, you may also be a powerful manifester because you're starting to get into t in tune with your ability to um, vibrate high and um, to attract things unto you which you desire. So you're becoming a powerful manifester and that's one of the signs that you know that you're awakening to being a light worker. You may also have a very strong connection to nature and you just love to be outside taking walks or just being outside in nature just appeals to you. And oftentimes people that um, are waking up to their um, light worker's path, they'll just like to um, find God in nature because they, they find God in nature more so than in any church building. Um, also, you might have learned soul lessons um, a little bit sooner than others so that you can help others through their soul lessons. So you might have gone through, like I said, like a dysfunctional or a rough childhood or abusive relationships um, with others so that you could go through these rough times or this dark night of the soul so that you would be of true value for helping other people. So these are some signs that you may be waking up to your light worker's path. And um, I want to invite you to uh, tune in every Sunday night um, to my light workers, uh, Earth Angels, Star Seeds, and Empath um, videos, which I, I put out every Sunday night. And um, it's a collective tarot reading. And I deliver messages that um, Spirit leads me to deliver. And it's a lot of fun, but it's always also very interesting because I never know what messages are going to come out. And they're always very um, deep and thought provoking. And um, also many subscribers have told me that they really enjoy these collective readings. So do be sure to tune in to my collective readings on Sunday nights. And also just feel free to check out my um, other videos within my library. I have a lot of tarot pick a cards. Um, I have guided meditation videos, a lot of educational videos, and um, much, much more in my library. And um, if you wish to contact me, um, you can find my email in the description box below. And um, if you have any particular questions about being a light worker, you can leave a comment as well. Um, and do be sure to like this video if you've enjoyed it. Um, also, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because I would love to have you be part of my YouTube family. Um, it's constantly growing and it makes me so happy because I'm doing what I love to do, which is to um, educate people about everything esoteric and to help people to heal the planet, to uplift um, through my tarot pick a card uh, readings and through everything else that I do. I love YouTube as a platform for being able to allow me to uh, help others. So thank you very much and thanks for tuning in and many blessings to you all.